He still stands for truth and justice, but he does seem to be wavering when it comes to the American way. The comic book hero, Superman, appears in a new adventure where he says he will renounce his US citizenship. That's after joining a peaceful protest in Tehran. The Man of Steel says he's tired of being seen as an instrument of US policy. Some American conservatives are a tad upset by the news. DC Comics, which publishes Superman titles, sent the following statement to Al Jazeera, quote, Superman is a visitor from a distant planet. He's long embraced American values. As a character and an icon, he embodies the best of the American way. In a short story in Action Comics 900, as you all probably know, Superman announces his intention to put a global focus on his never-ending battle, but he remains, as always, committed to his adopted home and his roots as a Kansas farm boy from Smallville. The United States may have fought to rid itself of the British monarchy more than 200 years ago, but on Kate and William's big day, some Americans found reason to celebrate. Kristen Salumi joined a party in New York. Americans got up at the crack of dawn to celebrate the royal wedding. In public spaces and private viewing parties, they cheered Kate and William's first kiss. The way of life few here can relate to. We don't have anything close to this with the history and, and really the formality, the pomp and circumstance. With the horses and the carriage and the magnificent cathedral, it was it's the fairy tale. I was a little girl when Princess Diana got married and I remember the long, beautiful train. What was your favorite part of the wedding? When they got married. This Greenwich Village neighborhood is where Brits who live in New York come when they want a proper cup of tea. There are so many British-owned businesses on the street that it is unofficially referred to as Little Britain, and not surprisingly, they are all decked out for William and Kate's big day. Expat and tea house proprietor Nikki Perry helped organize this block party. The world has had such a lot of terrible things happen to it, and everyone's struggling so much. It's really nice to have something that we can all be really excited about and get into somebody else's joy. If the truth be told, polls say only about 6% of Americans have been closely following this royal event and 37% don't care at all. But such a big occasion still means big business. And for many here, British tradition coupled with American style is reason enough to get out and celebrate. Kristen Salumi, Al Jazeera, New York.